We're having a look at subtraction with trading. So I've got the question 327 and we're going to take away 149. You can see that the number is split into its place value. So we've got our units here, followed by our tens and followed by our hundreds. We always start with our units when we're subtracting. So let's have a look over here. Can we do seven take away nine? Well, nine is the bigger number, as you can see. So we can't take nine away from seven. We're going to have to do some trading here. So let's go across to our tens. I'm going to borrow one of these tens to give it to our units. But as I can't physically break this up, I'm going to exchange it for ten units here. And they mean the exact same thing. So now our seven becomes 17. And you can see that we can actually subtract now because our larger number is at the top. So 17 take away 9, we can do it. Let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What are we left with? We're left with 8. Now we're going to go across to our tens column. We're looking at 1 take away 4. You'll notice that initially we had 2 tens, but we had to do some trading. So now we're only left with 1. Can we take 4 tens away from 1 ten? No, we can't. So again, we'll do some trading. I'm going to go across to this column now, my hundreds. I've got 3 of them. I'm going to borrow one of those hundreds and put it in the tens column. And again, as I can't break it up into tens, I'm going to exchange it. So I'm going to exchange one of these hundreds here for ten tens. So I added my ten tens to the one ten that was there. I've actually now got eleven. So now I can do eleven take away four. And let's do that now. One, two, three, four. Let's see how many we're left with now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we've done our tens and our units. Now we're going to move across to our hundreds. We need to take away just one hundred from here. And remember we did have three at first, but we had to do some trading. So now we're only left with two. So two hundred, take away one hundred. Let's do it now. I'm going to take it away. And this is the number that we're left with. One hundred and seventy-eight. So the question 327 take away 149 was 178. Thank you, Sarah, for that beautiful video on trading. Let's now do that on paper. Hundreds, tens, and units. Okay, we originally, well, that's a bit of a bad H. We had 327 minus 149. As Sarah showed us, that's a bit of a bad nine, uh, we can't take the nine away from seven because nine is a much bigger number than seven. So we have to, as we showed on the video, we need to trade from here. And that's this is how we do it on paper. Let me grab my pen. Okay. Let me change colors. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go over to the tens. Let's borrow one of those tens. When we take one of these tens, that leaves us with one left. When we come over here, we turn this number now into 17 because we've brought 10 across. 7 plus 10 is 17. Now we can take the 9 away. There. 9 is now smaller than the 17 that we have here. 17 take away 9. Do that one in your head, and you should get eight. All right, let's go over to the tens. Hopefully you can see the same problem that has hap happened in the first one. That is, four is bigger than the one. We can't take four away from one, so we need to go and borrow from the hundreds. Let's do it. Just changing my pen again. Let's borrow one of these. Whoop! Oh, let's keep it in black. Three now becomes two. We bring one of those hundreds across, and now we have 11 here. 
and 11 tens is 110 if you want to get real technical about it. 11 take away 4. Can we do that? Yes we can because 4 is smaller than 11. 11 take away 4 is 7 and if we go 2 take away 1 is 1. 178. Okay, so hopefully now you're getting the hang of this. Here's a sum for you. Or let's put our hundred tens in units up first. Let's put a sum. Let's put 573 minus 296. Okay, press pause now and have a go using those new skills of subtraction with trading that you've learnt. Come back and check your answer in. Just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully, you've got the right answer. Let's check. Let me go with my red pen. Now, you always start with the units. Let's go and have a look at in the units column. Let's see what we've got. We've got a 6 and a 3. Now, the number on the bottom is bigger. When the number on the bottom is bigger, hopefully you remember, we can't take 6 from 3. So we've got to go and borrow from here over in the tens. Let's do that. Seven, let's borrow one of those. And we're left with six. Let's bring that 10 across. 10 plus three is 13. 13 take away six is seven. How are you going? Hopefully you got that bit right. All right, let's go now over into the tens column. Let's have a look. We've got a nine and we've got a six. Now the 9 is bigger than the 6, you can't take 9 from 6, so we've got to go over to the 100s and borrow. Let's do that. Grab my red pen again. This time I've got it. Yes, I do. And we'll borrow one of them. We have 4. And we put a 1 here because we're bringing 10 across. And we've got 16. 16 and 9. You can do. 9 take away 16 is 7. That's right. 16 take away 9 is 7. And we go over to the hundreds column. Four take away two is two. How did you go? Did you get 277? I hope so. Thanks for tuning in to Learning for Vids. Bye now.